Hello, I'm Claudia from Hermate.es and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create gift wrapping paper using patterns. So you can do it using your own patterns and you can learn how to design your own patterns with my other tutorial which I'm going to give you the link at the end of this video and underneath the description. But in this case I'm going to be using my patterns from this bundle called Watercolor Valentine's Patterns which you can download also, I will give you the, the link and I will give you one for free so that you can test it in case you want to skip all the process of designing patterns and you just want to create your wrapping paper. Okay, so I'm going to be teaching you how to do it in Photoshop and also in Illustrator like that you can choose the tool that you feel more comfortable with and let's start with Photoshop. So what you need to do, I'm going to close this and I'm going to teach you. What you need to do is to create a new document, Command N, and you need to select the size of the paper you want to print. If you are printing it at home, you want to be it international paper or US paper, depending on where you, where you are, and you want to select the size of your printer. But if you are considering printing it outside, you can do it bigger. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to select A4, so this is the size, and the important part is that you put it at 300 pixels of resolution. Because that's the highest resolution to print, it's the perfect one, it's going to give you the perfect quality once you print it. Then here you can select white, like that you can follow my tutorial exactly as I'm going to be doing. Okay, so we press OK, we create here our document and we go directly to Layers. And we're going to double click here on this layer. It's going to pop this option. We just click OK and what's happening is that it's now unlocked. Okay, now we need to import the pattern to Photoshop so that we can use it as pattern. So what you're downloading is something like this, which is a tile. But from the tile, Photoshop and Illustrator will know how to create the pattern because the tile is designed seamlessly. So, for example, if we use this one, I'm going to drag it to Photoshop and open it as a new file. And all you need to do is go to Edit, Define Pattern. You can change the name or not and press OK. Now it's saved in your Photoshop. You can just close this come back to the document we were working and now when we select this layer we're going to apply here the pattern so to do it we can go to this fx this symbol here select pattern overlay and it's going to come this window with the first pattern from your photoshop you can scroll down until you find the last one which is the one we add, we added and once we click outside here, we can move this around so we can see it. It will by default come at 100%, which is what I recommend you to use. But you can go up and be careful because if you want to print it, it can pixelate since it's bigger than the original file. And what you can do is go down and don't worry if you go down because it's, it's not going to pixelate. The quality is going to be good enough because it's smaller than the original size. So I'm going to leave it around here and press OK. And here we have our wrapping paper ready to print. OK, now let's see how we can do it with Illustrator. The process is going to be very similar. So we have a new document in Illustrator with the size you want, the same as in Photoshop. And you're going to open your pattern. I'm going to be using this marbling one. So you just drag it in the same document. You don't need to drag it in a new document in this case. So you just drag it here. You're going to come to this symbol, links, which you can find also from window links. You're going to open the panel and you're going to embed this image in the document. So we come here and press embed images. Now the image is part of the document. We can close this panel and open the swatches panel which you can also find in Windows swatches. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna select this image and drag it here in the swatches. Once you drop it, it will appear as a new swatch 
you can click and delete the original picture but you still have here the swatch and it's as easy as selecting the rectangle tool drawing a rectangle that fits all the document and from with this selected so you have the fill on top over the stroke be careful to not have the stroke on top like this you want to have the fill so once you have the fill selected you go to your panel and you select the new pattern we've created and as the tile was seamless you can see that the pattern is totally seamless now so these are the two ways you can create your gift wrapping papers and as I mentioned before you will have here now the link to watch how to create your own patterns and you will have a free download to use to test this tutorial so I hope you find it easy to use I hope you like this tutorial and let me know if, the, if you have any questions or if you like it on the comments